Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariungi. Today we continue with our biology lesson from three. The topic is uh, reproduction in plants and animals. So previously, we have learned about cell division, whereby we learned the two types of cell division, that is meiosis and mitosis. So today, I want us to look at the significance of meiosis. So we want to ask ourselves this question, why is meiosis important? Why is it significant? Now one, uh, we can say that uh, uh, meiosis is the type of cell division that occurs in reproductive organs. Occurs in reproductive organs leading to formation of gametes. So we can say that meiosis leads to the formation of gametes which we said they are sex cells the cells that determine the sex of an organism so those gametes for example in animals we have the sperm cells we have the ova all those are formed during meiosis in plants we also have the male gamete nucleus and we have the ovum and those are the egg cells and they are also formed during meiosis. Now, another significance of uh, uh, meiosis is that it brings about exchange of genetic material and that exchange of genetic material is what brings about variation. That's, what you, that's why you find that we have uh, different varieties of organisms in the same species because members of a particular species or a particular species, sorry, can exchange genetic material leading to formation of a new variety. Maybe that is more adapted to the environment and so on and so forth. So we can say that uh, meiosis allows exchange of genetic material leading to variation. And you know that variation is the one that leads to adaptability. So basically those are the two uh, main functions or the two main importance, sorry, the two main importance of meiosis. Now, the next thing I want us to do is to have a comparison between meiosis and mitosis, whereby we'll start with the similarities. What are the similarities between mitosis and meiosis? The similarities, what is similar? One is that both are types of cell division. Both are types of cell division or you can say cell multiplication. Uh, they both involve cell multiplication or cell division. The other thing is that both occur in plants and animals. So we do not have one that occurs in plants and another one in animals. No. Both occur in plants and animals. But of course, they occur in different parts of the plant and different parts of animals. So they happen in both. The next thing that you shall look at are the differences. So we have looked at uh, a number of differences. 
between mitosis and meiosis and we shall look at some more differences so when you are asked to give the differences the differences should be in a position to compare between the two for example number 1 in mitosis we said that daughter cells have the same genetic material or the same number of chromosomes as the parent cell but in meiosis we say that daughter cells have half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell so daughter cells have the same number of chromosomes as parent cells but in meiosis daughter cells have half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell another difference we'll continue with the differences we are tabulating them number 2 that is on the mitosis side a uh, mitosis occurs in somatic cells also known as body cells but meiosis this one we say that occurs in reproductive organs leading to formation of gametes we can say that uh, on the mitosis side occur in somatic or body cells leading to growth leading to growth and repair so that is the difference number 2 Number 3 is that uh, mitosis forms two diploid daughter cells but meiosis forms four haploid daughter cells in mitosis chromosomes do not associate but in meiosis chromosomes associate we saw that in mitosis no chiasma formation therefore no crossing over in meiosis there is chiasma formation leading to crossing over so those are five differences that we have seen between mitosis and meiosis so today uh, just a recap of what we have learned we have learned the significance of meiosis that it leads to the formation of gametes or the sex cells in organisms uh, number 
It also allows exchange of genetic material that leads to variation. In terms of the similarities and differences, the similarities between the two processes is that both are types of cell division and they lead to cell multiplication. And then both occur in plant and animals. And then the differences are uh, in mitosis, daughter cells have the same number of chromosomes as the parent cells. And this one is what we abbreviated as 2N. But in meiosis, daughter cells have half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell, and that is what we abbreviated as N. Mitosis occurs in somatic cells, leading to growth and repair. Meiosis occurs in reproductive organs, leading to formation of gametes. And number three, uh, mitosis forms two diploid daughter cells, while meiosis forms four haploid daughter cells. Number four, chromosomes do not associate in mitosis, but in meiosis they associate. In, meios in mitosis, there is no chiasma formation, therefore no crossing over. But in meiosis, there is chiasma formation leading to crossing over. So that marks the end of uh, today's uh, uh, lesson. We are going to have an assignment so that it can deepen the understanding of the section that we have covered. So the assignment is as follows. Number one, state and explain the significance of meiosis. Number two, give two similarities between mitosis and meiosis. And lastly, state four differences between mitosis and meiosis. So that marks the end of today's lesson. See you next time.